Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL accounting system training. In today's lesson, we'll discuss about bank charges. In SQL accounting system, when you make payment to supplier or making a payment voucher, you can key in the bank charges. For example, let's say you go to GL, you are doing a cash book entry, you're doing a payment voucher. So when you make payment, you can actually key in the bank charges. Okay, so let's say you know that every check that bank process, they will charge you 50 cents for the processing fees, which is bank charges, together with the 3 cents of GST, 6%. So if you want to key in directly over the payment voucher, what you need to do is just key in as a total lump sum, the 53 cents over here. Okay, and then in every payment you do this, and at the end of the month, after you receive the bank statement from the bank, or they will give you another tax invoice for the bank charges, then you need to do something called reverse charge. You need to reverse back the GST from the bank charges. And to do that, you need to go to journal entry, new, then click on the bank charge GST reversal. So what you need to do is reverse back the bank charges. That means you select the bank charge account. Taxable amount, let's say only have one check. That means it's 50 cents. Tax cost is TX and the local tax amount is 0 0.03. By doing this, the system will automatically help you to reverse out the 3 cents from your bank charges and put into your GST claim, uh, that means your input tax. Okay, so to do this is a very long and tedious way. Uh, there is another way to do this is in during the entry of your uh, payment transactions, you do not key in the payment voucher, but you only key in the bank charges as a total lump sum when you receive the tax invoice from the bank. So you just do this bank charges for let's say November 2015. Then you select the bank charges account and key in the total amount. Follow the example, it's only one check. Select tax code as TX. Just like that, you get the same result without doing the bank charges GST reversal. So this is how you, the, the, the true way of doing the bank charges in SQL accounting system. If you do have time, please drop by at my Facebook. It's facebook.com slash syntax technologies. Help me to like my page. And you can get all the latest info regarding GST and also SQL accounting system. If you want to have a look on all the other SQL tutorial video, just go to my website. It's syntax.com.my. Click on YouTube and you can get all the tutorial video. That's all for today and once again I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.